today in Bengal, we see the beginning of an end. The arrest of the prime accused in the Sandesh Kali incidents is an eye-opener for everyone. We have to put an end to violence in Bengal. In many pockets of Bengal, we all realize that gangsters are ruling the roost. Today in Bengal, we see the beginning of an end. The arrest of the prime accused in the Sandesh Kali incidents is an eye-opener for everyone. This is only the beginning. I hear the death rows of an old order and the birth pangs of a new one. We have to put an end to violence in Bengal. In many pockets of Bengal, we all realize that gangsters are ruling the roost, unchecked by the law enforcing agencies. This is not just a contemporary phenomenon. This is a continuation of what has been there. We have to stem the rot. What we see is only the tip of the iceberg. Last election, Panchayat elections, I had the opportunity to go to the field, interact with the people, interact with the victims and the prey. I can gather that this, what I can call, what the people call, the Gunda Raj, is very much there in many pockets of Bengal. Strong action has to be taken. This has to be nipped in the bud. That is the exercise which we should all focus on in the coming days. Sir, don't you think it's too late because more than 50 days had been crossed and today he has been arrested where so much violence has taken place? See, I can answer that question by quoting a Doha from Kabir. Dheere dheere re mana, dheere sab kuch hoi, maali sinje sau khada, ridu hai fal hoi. We have to wait in democracy, in democratic governance. We have to wait for justice to be done. Justice delayed, of course, is difficult for us to bear, but justice is done. A few days have been lost, which is deplorable, but now it is not the time for a blame game. If any lapses have taken place from government or any other authorities, we are still time to look into that, dissect it, and come at our own decision. Now what is required is a concerted action to see that this kind of things do not happen in future. Action has to be taken against a particular culprit who has been apprehended. And also, others who are in the open, they should be brought out. Action should be taken. This is a requirement for peace and harmony in society. <coughs> People of Bengal deserve to live in peace. That has been denied to them. That should not be the case. That is where action has to be taken. My suggestion as governor, is for all the gangsters treat it as an occasion to surrender. They can voluntarily surrender. Otherwise, preventive action has to be taken. We cannot, we should not allow law breakers to take the law in their hands. And this kind of intimidation, particularly on women, cannot be tolerated in a civilized society like Bengal. The recent past, you have visited Sandesh Kali, where Thousands of women pleased to you so that Sheikh Shah Jan should be arrested and peace and normalcy has to regime. Now, what is your next plan about Sandesh Kali you would like to visit again? Today, as soon as this report came out, women from Sandesh Kali started calling me over phone. They are all excited about the happening. They said they, they thought it will never happen. Now, confidence has been restored. The inner strength of the women have been rekindled. That is why they are willing to resist and they are succeeding in the resistance. Now, the civil society, the government, all the stakeholders, political parties, silent majority, media, all should stand together to see that such incidents do not take place in society. What the women of Sandesh Kali wanted was peace with honor, but her honor was in pieces. That has been restored. We should now build on this plus point. Like Sandeskali and the particular case of Sheikh Shahjan, we have put a deadline. 
Now, in other cases, there are so many other allegations come from various parts of Bengal. Do you put pressure by setting a guideline or deadline? See, as governor, I do not issue any ultimatum to the elected government. My concept is that the governor's duty is to facilitate the elected government to do its duty, not to put roadblocks. I have been observing this, I will follow that. Now, certain imperfections are there in delaying the arrest, of course. We look into that. But other cases, that is where I am very particular. This is only an eye-opener. I have seen in the field and convinced myself that Gunda gangs are there in various parts of Bengal. Like in the olden days of democracy, in the nascent days of democracy in England, there were the pocket boroughs and the rotten boroughs that is controlled by this kind of people. That cannot happen. We should stand together. That is why I said, as a first step, all the gang leaders can be given an opportunity to surrender voluntarily. If not, the law has to come heavily on them. That is the action plan. This is only a beginning. Now, the race is going to be run. That is what we should be prepared for. Sir, but in several occasions we have seen when there has been violence or anything else, you have visited the place. But then every time your visit has been questioned, so as in Sandesh Kali's issue as well. How do you react to that? I thank those who questioned me. That will also encourage me for introspection. Because nobody is perfect. We all make mistakes. It is very good that you feel there are there is an eye on you. So I I, I welcome such question. Criticism is always good because it enables you for self-criticism. And the critics hold a mirror before you. I thank them very much. I expect and welcome more questions.